Bet you never seen nothing like that. Well, good morning, Dan. Hey, bud. Well, there's a trailer hooked up to a pickup. And I'm trying to figure out what the hell we're about to do. More road trip. Another road trip to go pick up something we don't need, but thank God it's not for us right now. <laughs> no. Oh, we got an interesting story. So yesterday when I was working on projects, and I got a message from my brother on Facebook, like, you need this. And I was like, oh, I totally need that. Yeah, it's just something unbelievably cool. I mean, just something you don't see every day. And I was like, I don't need that, but the price is right. But I was just like, ah. So I was thinking to myself, I know who needs that. It's a guy watching YouTube, Jonathan W. Always building super cool hot rods with funky cool engines. It's what I love about it. One of his channels right now, what he's doing right now, is he's building these hot rods, putting like uh, Y Block Ford, Flathead Cadillac, uh, Straight 8 Buick. Oh, I mean, just cool stuff. You know, you see plenty of small block Chevys, and especially now you see a lot of LSs. And I was like, oh, Jonathan needs this engine because it's just cool. We'll just leave it at that. It's not an early Hemi, it's even cooler. This thing's just freaking radically cool. And there's a reason why we need a car trailer to haul it, because it's a big engine. So uh, we're going to be going to pick that up for him about 100 miles away in Pittsburgh, Kansas. So uh, I guess when we get there, guys, you'll see what it is. And you won't be disappointed. And if you are, well, you're on the wrong channel. Because if you don't think this thing's cool, well... I ain't got nothing for you. Well, before we go, I should probably say there's a reason why you see this beautiful and sexy 68 Hemi Charger out. It's because the reason why we're leaving early in the morning, it's about 6 o'clock, is uh, Dad's got like a little high school party to go to with a bunch of his high school friends, and he's driving his Charger there, which is, this is an exact recreation of his high school car. So what better way? So yeah, we gotta make it back before two o'clock, so we're gonna be cutting it really tight. But, oh yeah, might get to see this thing roll out when we get back, cause it'll be probably about two o'clock by the time we get back, so. All right, on to the road. What are you gonna say about it, Dan? Well, it's a pretty rough road so on an empty trailer. That is definitely true. It put me to sleep like a baby. <laughs> I'm somewhere in Kansas. We're in Weir, Kansas, which, yeah. Yep, different part of Kansas, but we're almost there. Just wanted to check in with you guys, and we'll have something pretty neat on the trailer before too long. Bet you've never seen nothing like that. There's your 24 spark plug V12 American LaFrance 527 cubic inch engine, Jonathan. Oh boy. And your massive carburetors. Don't know how big a Zenith carburetor is. It's probably about 15, 20 pounds of carburetor. That's cooler now. Yeah. Well, that's actually a pretty, pretty sky right now. Just open up the camera and I'm looking at the sky and that's damn pretty. But uh, we made it back home. And the old LaFrance V12 is back there. Hopefully those carburetors are still in the back. And it didn't fall over. It hasn't fallen over. You did a good strapping job on that, Dan. Yeah. Got two plug wires flopping in the breeze. Yeah, there's two of them just flopping around, but hey. Just we can put them on wrong just as good as anybody. Yeah, we can put those back. <laughs> put them on wrong. It's got the fire order on the side. That's it does. Right. It's got it right on the side of the block. Dummy proof. But uh, we're almost home. Dad's got a little party to go to for all of his high school buddies. And we'll show you some more in-depth stuff on the engine when we get back. 
Do you think I forgot that I promised you Hemi Charger? You hit it out, Dad? Yeah. By the way, that's non-alcoholic beer for old people. Huh? That's a non-alcoholic beer for old people. Yeah. Man, beans. <laughs> well, from one badass engine, well, from one badass American-made engine to another one. Let's go work on this V12 LaFrance for Jonathan. Get her oiled up and packed away for him. So when his buddy comes and picks it up, might be in a little better shape than it is now. So let's go take an in-depth look at it. what you say. So this is Jonathan W's American LaFrance V12 527 cubic inch engine. And uh, right there. This thing's freaking cool. Don't mind my brother's music playing in the background. But uh, 24 spark plugs, twin ignition, two distributors for redundancy. Just freaking cool. I mean, do you just find anything like this anymore? It's just freaking cool. And it's very heavy. Very heavy. You know, one of that's probably that transmission. A two blade fan. It looks like it's about to take off like an airplane. Freaking cool. Uh, my brother sent this to me. I was like, oh, I, I need it, but I don't need it. And I thought about Jonathan because he's always doing super cool stuff. And he had talked about a V12 Seagrave that he had. And I figured, well, what the hell? We'll send it to him. And, uh, yep, he needed it. But uh, it's got these plates. Uh, this is all beyond me. Uh, not sure what those are for. Oil caps here. So we're gonna fill it with some uh, brand new oil I had that I'm never gonna use and some used Rotella oil over there. We're gonna pull spark plugs and uh, oil them down, oil down the cylinders with a little bit of ATF. And along with this intake flange was broken and we knew about that and that's in aluminum. So I'm gonna try and TIG weld that up for Jonathan because I have that ability and might as well. I'm sure he's got some buddies out there who could probably fix that, but we're going to give it a shot. So let's get to work oiling this baby down and getting it ready to be stored for a while until his buddy comes and gets her. God, I can't wait to hear this thing run on his channel. Alrighty, Jonathan. So this is for you. Uh, got all spark plugs on this side. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. All twelve of them. Some of these were kind of a pair. These ones in particular. And, uh, but I just want to show you the health of the engine through the spark plugs. Back cylinder here was uh, a little bit of oil fouling, I'm guessing. Yeah, oh yeah, there's some goo on there. But the good news is, my friend, there's no rust on any of these electrodes inside the chambers. This one, if I had to take a guess, if there was a stuck cylinder, it'd be this one. All the electrodes are in good shape. I mean, the thing was running a little bit carbon fouled. That one, there's a little something funky going on, but I ain't seeing nothing here that's making me say this thing could run pretty easily. So I'm gonna see if I could see inside the cylinder before I lube it down and everything. Get some pictures of the inside of the chambers if I can. Maybe get my borescope if it still works. May not work with my new phone. Actually, it won't work with my new phone, I think about it, but I oh, just wanna do my best to document this engine for you, my friend. So see what we can find out for you. All right, we're back on the other side of the engine. All the spark plugs are out. Let me tell you, that's a lot of spark plugs to pull out all at once. <laughs> but uh, good news, uh, these plugs are about the same shape. I mean, that one's about the worst one, but I don't think she's too far gone. Of course, I can't see inside the cylinders, but I am filling those suckers full of oil for you, Jonathan. Want to make sure this thing is in at least decent shape. Maybe we can, you know, maybe you can make it run as it sits, but she's probably going to need a little bit of coaxing. But uh, we're gonna get these cylinders full of oil, put these spark plugs back in. By the way, I owe you a spark plug. Uh, that one cracked, sorry. Uh, engines, but that spark plug broke. Uh, this engine's probably no good now. You know, without that spark plug, 
Uh, just let me know if you want me to go ahead and haul this thing to the dump because it's probably no good now. I mean, we got to, can't reuse that thing. So, you know, I guess we'll just haul her off. <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, uh, humor's not my strong suit right now. It's hot, but, uh, we're going to get the side of the engine full oil cleaned up. We got oil in the pan now. Should be full. Uh, take some pictures of it. Pull that intake manifold off and start welding on that tomorrow i'm gonna get back to work on another build over there so get at her all righty jonathan well there's you're incredibly cool i mean i i got no words for how cool this thing is all the cylinders are lubed up it's full of oil now old oil used oil but it's oil oil is better than nothing and i know you'd agree with that so a little dipstick actually just, I'm guessing that second mark is the full mark, so wanting to fill her up pretty good. Set the Zenith carburetors on there just for a picture. And uh, just a oogle and ogle. Now, they're not straight or nothing. Just kind of set them on there. One stud in the back, one stud in the front, because that flange over there is broken. And Jonathan, I apologize. I need to call you. And you're probably going to get this call here pretty soon. That, that chunk is not there. That chunk is missing. I thought it was here. So I cannot fix that. There's a lot of flange missing right there. And I I don't know what we're going to do for that. Um, you and I can talk about it. I was hoping to be able to fix that manifold for you. Because then that one last thing you have to fix or try and you know do. Because I don't know how you're going to find one of them intake manifolds. But with your group of subscribers you got, all those good people. I'm sure someone's got something they can help you out with. Maybe even fabricate something put that you put that b or not the b52 but you put that b17 bomber or b25 mitchell bomber holly carb i got on here oh yeah that'd be cool that great big old trap door holly aircraft carburetor mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that'd be cool but uh yeah just a really cool engine man uh i'm more than happy to help you out get her go get her for you in store uh i can't wait to see what you do with it my friend just I, I can't stop staring at it zenith carburetors are cool they're very heavy but cool oh man you're gonna do great things with this hopefully she frees up pretty easily for you and you know so spark plugs maybe wires clean the points i bet you this thing will run like brand new again but uh hope everybody enjoyed this video and if you're new to my channel and you don't know who Jonathan W. is, well, crawl out of that freaking rock you're living under and go check him out. My favorite all-time guy on YouTube. Does the coolest stuff ever. And uh, if you're coming over here from Jonathan's channel, I greatly appreciate you. Uh, we do a little bit different stuff here than what he normally does. We work on a lot of muscle cars. Of course, everything's kind of covered now. So just trying to keep everything in good shape. So uh, as always, guys, I appreciate you for watching. And look forward to seeing you in the next one. So take care and bye-bye.